Your Excellencies, dear colleagues, I would like to thank you for inviting me to say a few introductory words to this series of UPR pre-sessions. The UPR is a unique instrument for the international community to recognise the vital role of civil society and to enable the participation of human rights defenders in our common effort for sustainable peace, development and the respect for human rights. It is in this spirit of participation and inclusion, the UPR Info pre-sessions are a unique platform to amplify the voice of rights holders, provide their perspectives on the human rights situation in their countries and propose action oriented recommendations. I commend the NGO UPR Info for their efforts and excellent work in making this possible. However, it is essential that this remains a safe space where human rights defenders can engage and express themselves freely without fear of intimidation or reprisal of any sort. I am concerned that increasingly human rights defenders are facing obstacles to and reprisals for their participation in the UPR and its pre-sessions. Others self-censor themselves and decline to participate for fear of retaliation. No human rights defender should be afraid to speak in this space, to be prevented from participating or worse, to face more serious consequences. They have a lot to contribute to the UPR pre-information sessions and these are a key space for them to do so. And as such, it must remain a safe platform. All states must work to ensure that this platform is a place where everyone can engage freely and safely and fully exercise their right to freedom of expression. States under review have everything to gain by listening to the concerns of their people and taking note of constructive suggestions for improvement. States whose human rights situation is being discussed must ensure that human rights defenders participating at any stage of the UPR process are not subjected to reprisals for their engagement in the process. On the other hand, I commend the states who will make recommendations and that are here today to participate actively in the pre-sessions. By being present in this room, you show your interest in the human rights situation in the states under review, but above all, you show your support for the courageous individuals who are taking the floor. Your presence is essential. Finally, I would like to underline my unfailing support for the human rights defenders who participate in the pre-sessions. I pay tribute to them and to their work for a better world. I wish you all fruitful sessions and constructive debates.